Hey everybody, Yvonne here, back again. Uh, so a little update. Uh, today we're gonna be doing uh, the clutch pedal assembly and dashboard removal. So we have received our clutch pedal assembly from uh, Subaru. So there's a clutch pedal assembly, brand new OEM from Subaru. Shout out to Flatirons Tuning. Uh, got it a little less than what the dealerships were asking. So, uh, but I did leave the lights on, so the car's dead. So I got it hooked up to the battery charger right now. Uh, I'm gonna get it started, let it warm up a little bit, so the cabin's at least a little warm. It's like 38 degrees tonight, so uh, yeah, we're gonna let it get warm, and we'll catch back up. All right, so uh, with every first step, you always want to disconnect your positive battery terminal. Um, I always put a rag over it just to be a little bit safer. Um, but for the most part, uh, I did get a little bit ahead of myself and I started removing the dashboard while I was not recording it. But I will go ahead and give you guys a walkthrough of all the parts that I've removed so far. So we started with taking off the side pieces uh, and that allows you to access this screw which holds the vent. So we're going to remove that vent. Um, the bezel around the cluster just pops off. The bezel around the radio pops off and then there's two mounting points for the CD player. CD player comes out, uh, this also pops off and along on the same, there's also the uh, access to that screw after you pop off the panel, glove box. It's all uh, pretty um, simple stuff to remove. I got myself this nice um, interior piece remover. Uh, most of the common tools you're just gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver, maybe a 10 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter socket, this nice uh, panel popper and a flashlight. So when you remove the dashboard or the glove box, I mean, you're gonna pop off all of this and there's gonna be screws that go all the way along this, as well as the two behind the cluster. And then there's one down here and one here as well to pop off the lower panel. Then you're gonna go ahead and unplug everything. So, right, so first of all, guys, I'm um, just re-recording the step uh, to take the A pillars off. You have to remove the little SRS tabs and they co uncover a 10 millimeter bolt that holds the top of it on. Then it just pulls right out of the dash and you do that for both sides. Uh, I forgot to, I accidentally time-lapsed that part so I'm just gonna edit this in real fast. All right, guys. So somebody had a popcorn mess in here or some shit. I don't know, I just cleaned it up. But uh, there's one screw there, one screw there to take out the centerpiece. Just having trouble getting my shift knob out, so I just left it sideways for now. Aside from those two up there, there's also one, two right there. Right, and then there is one clip right there. I'll show you where you took it out from that side. But there's the one clip right there that's gonna come out. Oh, it'll fit if it'll focus. All right, guys, so I got all the screws out. Uh, there's one bolt, it goes right there, 10 millimeter bolt. Um, now I just gotta work on getting it out. Otherwise we got everything. All right, guys, so the next thing I ran into was, uh, I was having trouble getting the passenger side out. You have to unplug the airbag uh, to unplug it. Um, you just press this green thing in really hard and pull this one out. And then you're gonna pop the clips uh, out of the spots that they're in and that'll free the dashboard up uh, Also, I have to drop the steering column uh, Drop in the steering column takes a 12 millimeter socket and it's going to be That bolt and then there's one as well on that side and that is how you drop the steering column Then the dashboard should come out right and just like that the dash is out guys the only other one I had an issue with is this bad boy right here. Uh, that is for the auto dimmer. The auto dimmer actually just pops right out of there. Makes it 10 times easier. But there it is. The dash is out. Next, we'll be going through the uh, pedal assembly. All right, guys. Want to see what the issue is? This is the flex plate I was talking about. Uh, watch, watch it as I push the clutch pedal. You see all that flex? That shouldn't be there. That's the whole fire while moving. All right, guys. So as a part of uh, taking out the clutch pedal assembly, you need to remove the cowl. Uh, it's just some plastic tabs across the top. 
um, these just pop right out. And then I went ahead and I unplugged the windshield washer arms assembly. And then it's just three, three bolts, one, two, and three. Take the whole assembly out. And then there's our four spot welds we're gonna be doing. Those four spot welds along with wires on the way along with those two we'll be getting drilled out and we'll be replacing them with nuts and bolts so uh yeah we'll be doing that all right guys so to remove the clutch pedal assembly it's gonna be that blue plug that white plug and then you're gonna take off the plug from the clutch uh the gas pedal and then the two bolts that hold the ga gas pedal on once you remove the two bolts that the gas pedal is on uh, you will have one there's one more plug up in the back right behind the blue one The little white one that is gonna have to be unplugged as well. There's three these three all three of these uh, Let's see if I can get my hand in it oh, maybe not. So th this one and then these two all have to be unplugged as well as the gas pedal needs to be removed and then there's gonna be I believe two bolts behind the gas pedal, one down here, and then uh, one up in the top right corner as well. And then there's gonna be those four bolts right there. They're all 12 millimeters. And then there's gonna be two more bolts up back there, all 12 millimeters, I believe. If we can see, we see those two. All right, so this is where it kind of comes in handy when you have the steering column drop to reach in and unplug all three of those sensors. Let's see if we can get you in there a little better. So all three of the sensors, uh, the blue one, the blue one and the white one in the back corner, those unplug from the bottom. This, this one right here unplugs from the top. So now that we have all of that done, we are gonna go ahead and unbolt everything. And yeah. So yep, yeah, so there is two bolts holding that on. Steering column's dropped. We'll uh, put that back in the firewall a little bit. All right, guys. So there's one cotter pin uh, right here on the on this brake pedal. And there's a the cotter pin over here. The wire's not kind of in the way, but you can see the cotter pin right there on that one. That one's also gotta come out. So then once you got the pins out on both, you're just gonna kinda push them both in. Push it in, push the clip. Uh, I'm gonna need both hands to do this, but you get the point. Uh, so once you pull out both cotter pins, take out both the pins, and then it's just gonna be all, there's gonna be four 12 millimeters there, two 12 millimeters there, and then two 12 millimeters up on this this plate right here where the rod is coming from the clutch master so all right guys so i got got all four or all six of the bolts off or four bolts and two nuts that come out from this side from those four to the two that go up there past the brake sensor uh now you just have to unmount let's see if i get to focus there is on the other side of this metal where this uh let's see where that rod is going that goes to the clutch master and there's two bolts on the plate behind that that hold the clutch master to the firewall and to this bracket so you're gonna have to uh go under the hood go into the engine bay and remove the two, let's see if we can focus on there. The two 12 millimeter nuts down there. Oh, it's a little hard to focus in that one. This one's a little tight, so I'd recommend uh, this, the, uh, it's like a crescent wrench that's got like a step in it. Um, that or, you know, a couple uh, adjustable heads or wiggle sockets. Um, this brake line is in the way a little bit of it as well, so it's a little challenging, but. Uh, or you can just remove your whole intercooler. I'm trying not to do that, so yeah. All right, so I did have a little trouble getting the one bolt 
on this bracket. Uh, it's kind of really, really tight to get at with the intercooler in the way. So I removed the intercooler. Now I'm getting at it. And uh, as you can see now that everything's like loosened and uh, all, all of the spot welds are visible, super visible now. So there's all six right there. I'm gonna take the plate out with the pedal assembly, drill quarter inch holes and put some grade eight fasteners, seal it back up with some RTV. So I'll just get back to you guys when it's out. All right guys, so I did forget one bolt. Uh, it's gonna be on the far right. And it's gonna be that one up there, that one 12 millimeter. All right, boys and girls. So there is the pedal assembly out. Um, I did have to disconnect the box that was under the steering column and pull the box out. Uh, it's just two 10 millimeter bolts holding the box in, and then all the bolts, and then you gotta, and then you'll have this hang down, and this hang down, and then you drop your steering column and fight it out. Uh, so now that it's out, this. This is the culprit to my broken clutch. This is the measly weld that uh, the last owners did. It's a little tiny tack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill out those two spot welds and these four spot welds. And we're gonna drill them out the same size on these six and bolt it back up with some grade eight bolts and washers. And I'll show you guys that when I got it. So those two bolts are those two on there. So now we're ready to put this in after we go take care of the plate. All right, guys, this is the finished product. Uh, I just resprayed it with some paint just so it doesn't rust. Um, there's the four that are going to align with those four. I drilled those out bigger already. And then those two right there are those two. And I'll show you guys my hardware I'm going to be using and we'll get this stuff put back together. All right, guys. So sorry, it's kind of hard to see, but there's the four bolts right there. One, two, three, four. And then on the other side and then from the top, we're going to see the two right there. And we're just going to seal it up with some RTV then. All right, guys. So after we got the bolt tight, we just used some uh, ultra gray silicone. And we got those nice and lathered up. Make sure no water will enter through there. These two you don't really have to worry about too much. Uh, I put so I put a RTV on them before I put them in. Those two, uh, water won't see much of up there. But down here, that's where the water, obviously you can tell, water sits. So I get these all vacuumed out, get everything put back together. And yeah, we'll be on our way, put, getting her put back together. All right, guys. So last video, uh, I got I got the new pedal assembly mounted. Everything's bolted up. I'm just getting the dash back in, and uh, the one wire I was having an issue with is the auto dimmer up there. Um, what I found was the way to go was I got this big six foot charger cable. I ran it up through there. I just uh, looped it on the edge like that and just fished it up through there. That and the clock are the hardest things to plug in. Other than that, guys, just reverse all the steps you did. Good luck.